am Brhanu, I'm here to tell my spinal CSF league story. The restaurant is called Maso of Ethiopian Restaurant, which is Ethiopian traditional table. We've been in this business almost 20 years. We start very little place. We just bought the name and some of the recipes, but we improve it a lot. We remodel it. We bring it to a more tr traditional Ethiopian restaurant. Uh, we still have the same chefs in the kitchen for the past 20 years, so we have lots of repeating clients. Hi, my name is Ketahon. I'm here just to make sure he's telling the truth. We are not only brother, he's my also father, he's my coach, and uh, he's, uh, he raised me as a, like his, his child. My first name is Sahai. I am his first daughter. He brought us here when we, uh, all six of us, me and my siblings along with my uncle. We came here 89 and he supported us through, throughout until now as being a strong father, a role model. Brahanu, he was the president of the community. Almost 17 years, he was a president of the Little Ethiopia, which is Little Ethiopia I means this block, the whole thing. So we try to reach out to the communities here and show the culture. The state of California gave us award 2014, Small Business of the Year. And we also have uh, 2017 from City of Los Angeles Immigration Success Business. So we involve a lot in the community, not just on the Ethiopian community, the community at large. This one moment, I feel like some kind of pressure in my head. So I went to see my doctor. He gave me some kind of medication. I didn't feel good. I called him again. And he gave me uh, also another medication. About a month before he was diagnosed, he, a, a couple times I saw him, he said, I have uh, this severe headache. And I asked him, are you taking any medication? Are you going to the doctor? He said, yeah, I've been to the doctors. They told me that there's nothing major and I'm taking over-the-counter medicine. I called my doctor. I wanted to go, I wanted to see him again because I, he saw me week before. He said, okay, you can come. I went there and he checked. He didn't see really much things. The same day when I got home, he's not, getting, uh, he's not feeling good, really bad. So what we decided, we take him to emergency room. They did MRI, they did CT scan as well. And um, I vividly remember, they couldn't tell us the result exactly, but they knew that it was something serious. After two days or so, his, he started getting deteriorated again, uh, forgetting, not knowing who it is. And, and then we're like, okay, he's normal, he's fine, so what just happened? He started again, all over again, started getting worse uh, to the point he couldn't breathe. I said, look, my brother was, he had been back and forth in over a month. They could not find anything else. All of a sudden, they have leak in his brain, and somebody told me it's gonna be in a surgery on Monday. I don't think so he can stay in that long. It took a lot of toll in the family. Uh, he is a... He's very special to all of us. He's, um, we, have a, we do have a lot of family members here, and uh, he brought us all here, not just our immediate family, but many extended families that he is an icon to for all of us, and to see him that way, it was a, 
a shock to the family and friends. They were able to uh, be able to find where the leak is coming from and, and then stop the, you know, do the patching. And that's when his really final recovery started. Yeah, I spent three weeks in final rehab center. I'm feeling 100% normal now. <laughs> Everything's good. I went to see my doctor. I used to see him every month, then every two months. Then recently I went to him. He said, you are okay. Sometimes we forget what's the purpose we are here. And uh, honestly, I'm so in touch on the doctors, our friends, everybody on his case that was willing to help. They really fight hard to save my life.